T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Someone do chamber cut phenomenal. Pitching down range. plus 40 seconds into the mission, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 Power at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the NILESAT 301 satellite to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Right now, we are throttling down the first stage engines in preparation for a period known as Max-Q. This is where we'll experience the vehicle highest amount of aerodynamic pressures on the vehicle. Max-Q. Now that we've passed Max-Q, we are now bringing those engines back up to full power. In about a minute, we have a couple of events happening in quick succession. Uh, first up will be main engine cutoff, also known as MECO, followed by stage separation, and then SCS-1, also known as second engine start one. During uh, main engine cutoff, those nine engines will shut off. Uh, during stage separation, the first and second stages will separate from one another. And then during SCS-1 or second engine start one, we'll have that single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. It will ignite and continue to carry the NALSAT-301 satellite to its targeted drop-off orbit. Shortly after we see ignition of the second stage engine, we are expecting those fairing halves to deploy and exposing, uh, again, that uh, NALSAT-301 satellite to the vacuum of space. Get some really cool ground shots of the Falcon 9 vehicle. Coming up on main engine cutoff in a few seconds here. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And impact ignition. So we got successful main engine cutoff, successful stage separation, and you can see on the right-hand side of the screen that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage has indeed uh, reignited, or not reignited, has started up and is now propelling the second stage with our payload uh, to its drop-off orbit. So coming up, we'll have uh, fairing deploy in about uh, five or so seconds. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you see it. The two fairing halves have separated and are falling away from the vehicle, now exposing the NALSAT-31 satellite. Uh, as a reminder, again, we are going to be attempting to recover those fairing halves with the help of our recovery vessel, Doug. For now, we are about, we're about four minutes into the mission. Uh, things are looking great. So you have a couple of views on screen. On the left-hand side is a view from the top of the first stage looking down. Uh, it is making its way back to oh, our drone ship. Just read the instruction, which is part in Bermuda. the Atlantic Ocean. And on the right-hand side, again, is the view of the Merlin vacuum engine. Uh, on the opposite side of that engine is um, the NALSAT 301 satellite. So we're currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for the second stage. Uh, as for the first stage, at around the T plus six minute and 27 second mark, you should see uh, on screen the first stage's entry burn. It's, it's one of two burns needed to land the first stage today. 
For the entry burn, we relight the center engine, engine number nine, and then partway through that, we'll relight engines number one and five, so that we'll have three total M1D engines helping to slow down the vehicle as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. You'll see the exhaust start as a circular plume from the center engine, and then change shape to a longer, narrow plume when the two other engines reignite. Uh, reusability is key to lowering the cost of space flight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will, will be performing this entry burn for the seventh time. Having previously supported two Starlink missions, the Axiom 1 mission, the Inspiration 4 mission, and the GPS 3-4 and 5 mission. So about a minute away from that entry burn. Uh, if you look on the bottom left-hand side of your screen, there is a velocity gauge of the first stage. And so as we go through that entry burn, um, you'll start to see that we are slowing down the speeds uh, of the first stage. But actually, even after we complete the entry burn, as we go through the, the denser parts of the Earth's atmosphere, we'll continue to scrub speed. Uh, in fact, the majority of the speed um, is actually uh, uh, scrubbed by the Earth's atmosphere. We talked a little bit about the engines uh, and the different engines on the Falcon 9 vehicle. On the right-hand side of the screen, that is uh, the Merlin vacuum engine. It's optimized to perform in the vacuum of space and can produce over 220,000 pounds of thrust. Uh, the engines on the first stage are stage one, entry burn, optimized startup. to perform at sea level, and they can produce uh, over 190,000 pounds of thrust uh, during both ascent and descent. And you can see that we have indeed started our entry burn. Uh, this is expected to last for about 20 seconds before we shut off those three engines once again. And while Falcon 9 makes its way back, Stage one, entry burn, shut down. you may notice the different sit markings on the outer coverings of the rocket. Uh, pretty much as we're returning to Earth, uh, we're flying through our own exhaust. And so that's where the sit will start to build up around the Falcon 9 first stage. So we did have successful entry burn. The first stage has stage one, one more AFP burn to go. Saved. That's going to happen in about uh, a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, before we start the landing burn on the first stage, we are going to be listening for a call out for the second stage, which is SECO. That stands for Second Engine Cutoff 1. The second stage, stage engine will uh, shut off and enter a coast phase for about 20 minutes, and then we'll actually be reigniting the second stage engine for a second time. Uh, we'll shut it off for a second time, coast for a little bit longer before we'll be deploying the NALSAT 301 satellite. So uh, we have a, a couple Stage more sequences to go through before uh, we get that um, satellite Stage free FTS is safe. to its targeted orbit. And back shot down. Expected loss of signal, Cape. Stage one landing burn. So we did get confirmation of a successful second engine cutoff, and we've also begun uh, the landing burn on the first stage. Nominal orbit insertion. So that call out for nominal orbital insertion is what we're waiting for for the second stage. Again, stage it is now parked like and uh, in its uh, coast phase. So here we're going to uh, see if we can land this first stage for the seventh time on our drone ship. And there we have it. That is SpaceX's 116th successful Falcon 9 first stage landing, as well as SpaceX's 99th mission flying a reflown Falcon booster.